But anyhow, um, this morning I was tweeting and chatting live with YouTube and I got a message that Granny's Watching had made a community post and that it was about me and, of course, as usual, more lies. You know, I'm beginning to think that this particular girl um, doesn't know anything other than how to lie. Um, you know, it's it's very sad, to be honest, because she's like, I don't know if that's part of addiction, if it makes you a liar. Um, I don't know what it is, but what I do know is that she is off her rocker. So I'm going to read you. Actually, I'm going to show you what she has posted and then I'm going to break it down because she is truly a moron. It's bigger. Uh, I'm probably going to need to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe it'll work. Okay. So this is her community post that she put up 41 minutes. And the sad thing is that her subs don't even care that she lies. I mean, she literally, they know she's lying and they still go along with it. So let's talk about this. I'm going to read you the first paragraph and then we'll go. What I thought he'd do is reference the diary. Now listen to this. To show the pattern of alleged abuse happening within that home. The use of racial slurs as an aggravation. The video of Natasha and family tormenting the girl about touching a boy and the diary entries. He also continued to ask me for the rest of the info and no, I didn't send it all despite offering. But go ahead and show otherwise. Hell, you raised money to do so after all. <clears throat> this bitch is, I mean... She's stuck in 2019. This mess has been, no, she can't type. She can't spell. She can't do nothing. I mean, she's literally illiterate. Now, this next part is the part that really got my goose, ticked my turtle, chapped my ass, pissed me off, whatever you want to call it, it did it. Um, Because <clears throat> this right here is a whole ass lie. A whole ass lie. Natasha has literally passed around photos of my daughter and described her as whore. Um, uh, ooh, uh, I, uh, uh. There is no defense. There is none. And, you know, I was on the fence about whether or not to press charges against her for harassment and everything else that she's done. Because I was concerned about her children. I'm not anymore. I'm not. Um, I'm not on a fence. I'm 100% going to do what needs to be done.